And we are just an hour from tip-off of one of the biggest events in the Miami Valley. Good evening. I'm Katie Houston. Mark Allen is off tonight. Fly into the hoop may be focused on basketball, but for many Kettering area businesses, the event has the economic ball bouncing their way. Jordan Burgess live with why to them, the Invitational is more than just a game. Well, how's this for a two-pointer? 20,000 people expected for the weekend and nearly $2 million being pumped into the local economy. It's why no matter what the final scores are, flying to the hoop is considered a win for the area. They know how to cut. They're great at going to the basket. Their three-pointers always go down easy, and you won't find a much hungrier team for this weekend's Fly Into the Hoop Invitational. A ballin' and barbecue, and that's absolutely right. Winkadoodle moves may be the one spot where you don't want to see anybody dribble, but otherwise it's hoping to cash in on the basketball games going on just down the road at Trent Arena. 20,000 people, and I guarantee you, at some point in the weekend, they've got to eat. But much of the time, they'll be feasting on basketball. Fly into the hoop was picked by one group as the second best high school basketball showcase in the country. In its 11th year, it'll feature 34 teams lacing it up to play 20 games in four days. Like they say, if you build it, they will come, and you know it's uh, it's grown into quite the extravaganza. Now the event's economic star power rivals that of the teams who will be in it. 25 players at Fly into the Hoop have gone on to play in the NBA. According to the Dayton Montgomery County Convention and Visitors Bureau, it generates $1.7 million for local businesses. They're going to be buying gas, they're going to be staying in hotels, and I think for this entire community, there's just a real impact. Oinkadoodle Moos is hoping to score with fans by offering some deals for the weekend. They want people to be as hooked on the barbecue as they are on the basketball. Once people get out here one time, they tend to come back every year after. And I know that food's making you hungry, so how's this for flavor of the 34 teams? I'm told they're from nine different states, including as far away as Texas, Nevada, and Florida. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News.